Should be a very um, interesting matchup here as both of these women are pretty savage, I might say. And here we go. Champion in a different outfit, as always. Always trying to run events. And, of course, Princess Catherine has won the opportunity to challenge her own mother for this title as she won the tournament for the women. Second in commit, the second runner-up was uh, St. Margaret, St. Peggy Hannon. And she was able to, you know, she came in second in the tournament. So, as a reward for her hard work and dedication, she is going to have a tag team title opportunity. So, we're rewarding everyone, really, who really performed. I mean, everyone did a great job in the tournament. All the matches were spot on. And everyone did a great job. And no one has anything, definitely nothing, to be ashamed of. Oh, the champion right now is just pummeling the challenger. Call an elbow tie-up. Goodness me. Nice wrist lock there. Nice up along ham lock now. By Kung Pao Rina on the challenge. Ooh, misses the clothesline, and the princess comes in and knocks it out. But by the way, folks, our, ma our main event, we're going to have a melee to crown a number one contender for the... This just added, we needed a challenger for the MMA Grand Prix Championship for Austin on August 4th. And, of course, we're going to have a melee to determine who that's going to be. So eight of the people in the division and a couple open challenges has been issued to anyone who thinks that they can challenge Austin for our MMA Grand Prix Championship. Should be an interesting occasion there. I know that definitely will be some fan favorites involved there, including some debuts as well. I cast. I will have my son, the other half of Jazz and Sons Remasters, on commentary, so... Should we, oh, wait a minute now. Princess Catherine measuring her mother with a drop kick to the head. That's the drive-by, they call it. Beautiful drop kick there. Is this enough to put away the champion? No, gets a two count. This would be Princess Catherine's first title reign since joining the division a long time ago by the Women Warriors of Wrestling. was all part of the F4L Icons initiative that we have here going on. And now, the champion dumps her daughter out of the ring. Maybe give her a little separation. But, she's going to go back in there. Kung Pao Arena getting battered around by her own daughter. And the reason why, in case you're wondering why the referee is outside the ring, why there's no disqualification, why no one's counted, no one's disqualified, is because it is a title match. And our title matches are pinfall submissions and knockouts anywhere in the building. There are no disqualifications. There are no count outs. And there will be a winner one way or the other as the champion. Looks to put the end to the challenger. Well, there's a sleeper hold locked in. Deep sleeper hold at that. Got it locked in. Is this enough to put away the princess? Can the champion retain? Champion has been the champion for quite some time now. As has our tag team champions who will be coming up uh, very shortly. Coming up, we got Frick 
in sol singles action as my son has booked a match as Frick wants some solo action to show that he is a dominant member of him and Frick and Frack. So Frick's going to challenge um, Slim Jim in a singles competition. Frick, I'm sorry, Frack is nowhere to be found apparently. And the challenger, oh my goodness, we have a record-breaking win here as we have a new Women Warriors of Wrestling FWL Icon Champion as the champion for the first time in nine months has been dethroned. Kung Pao Arena, what, let me look at how she followed up on everything and also every time she did make impact she made sure it stuck. But the champion definitely didn't go down without a fight. Look at this standing savant kick. Another shot at it right there. And then this wasn't enough here. That would be enough for most women that she's faced. The women's tag team champions are going to be in action a little later on. And wondering how they will do. As the Sisters of Destruction are indeed individuals who you have to worry about. They are former champions singly and they are former tag team champions back in the day. As the rookies division. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Women Warriors Wrestling FRL Icon Champion.